Hello everyone, it's been a while. This past month, my frustration level with YouTube has went over 9000. I decided to make this video in order to at least try to help others that are going through the same path of shit that I went through. Before we go, I'm gonna save the trouble now. By checking the description below, you'll find two videos. One with how YouTube normally encode videos, and the second one is the same video uploaded after my makeover. I suggest you to open both of them on full screen next to each other and compare. If it's good enough for you, then you came to the right place. I know how much confusing, complicating and log guiding videos are, therefore I try to make this as short and clear as possible. However, I do want to spare some of your time to complain like a little bitch and explain why the stuff that happening are happening. So heads up for the people who already heard enough of me for the last month. Skip this. It all began with me dipping my toes into the world of video editing and YouTube. Like many artists, I went and I'm still going through tough times. I used to watch other gaming YouTubers to shut down my brain and annoying thoughts and instead join Variety for some exciting games or just enjoying of watching them getting the shits get out of them. After getting rid of my 10 year old computer and buying a new one a few months ago which is more suitable for running software, I decided I want to try to do the same thing for others, using my videos for escape or just because we're bored. The beginning was fun, I enjoyed the thought of creating and learning new stuff about rendering every day. Then until I realized one day how all my artwork went straight into the toilet like a bad poo poo. As a creator you spend many hours on your projects in whatever category they are, before when your final product is complete you feel some kind of pride in your hard work. But then in my case you upload your video to YouTube and watch your video's quality turn from a nice quality to who let his dog out and why did he take a piss all over my screen. This problem made me stop making videos. As someone who always tried to perfect what he does, I couldn't bear the thought of making more videos if the final product will have shitty pixels all over the image. It just made me feel disgusted with how my work looks like, unsatisfied. So I took a break from it, to take some time and learn a bit about the way YouTube Google encoding works and find a solution. First to understand the problem, you need to understand why your videos become blurry. Have pixels showing up in every movement on the image and turn to look like a dog piss. Duck piss. Hmm, I like it. Maybe I should change the name of this video to how to deal with videos looking like duck piss. A few years ago, YouTube decided to change the way our uploaded videos are being encoded to save space on the memory storage. To do that, they introduced the AVC1 aka duck piss encode, which takes your beautiful video and compress the shit out of it, making it way more smaller and friendlier for the storage. In the process, destroying your video quality. To begin my experiment, I made a 20 seconds gaming video in worth of just 20 megabytes. Next up, following two different official YouTube requirements list for Google for uploading H.264 videos in 720p or higher, I've learned about bitrate, which is how you measure how much data in the video is transmitted in a given amount of time. From where I spent some of my money on a month membership for rendering softwares, which allowed me to adjust the bitrate I want for my video, thinking that if I go lower and lower, I will hurt a bit of the quality but it will still be okay. Don't get me wrong, it was never my intent to get a, the results of a super ultra HD video. Just good enough looking video to please everyone's eyes. But wrong answer. It didn't matter if I lowered the key BPS from 9000 to 6000 or 4000 or even 2000. Despite the video still looking more than enough once it got to YouTube for the testing by downloading my own videos from YouTube showed that it doesn't matter what's the starting point of the original KBPS, once the AVC1 codec will take over the video will be butchered to just below 500 KBPS or around the 1000 KBPS mark. From finding other people and complaining about the same struggles, some suggested lowering the FPS for slowing the movement or making the image more blurry by capturing the game with low graphic settings for less details as more sharp details will get more screwed, something I can't control because I capture my videos on my PlayStation 4. Some even suggested going with the highest bit rates as possible because those videos will always look better, but that didn't work either. I tried many experts in different types, hell I even tried an uncompressed AVI file which turned my 20 seconds 20 megabyte video to a 20 seconds video worth of free freaking gigabyte. 20 seconds free gigabyte. As a joke I decided to let YouTube upload it for 2 hours just to see if an uncompressed file will make any difference and guess what? 
the free gigabyte 20 seconds video looked the same old shit dog piss just as the 20 megabyte one. At that point I decided I simply don't possess enough knowledge to fix this by myself. As a small channel user I have no access to contact YouTube support staff and I'm simply not gonna continue making shitty videos until I'll be able to get some attention. So I went to the YouTube forum community and explained my case. I received one answer in three weeks and that answer was from some forum golden member that probably has no video making experience telling me that the pixel artifacts are happening because my videos are too big and YouTube is turning my videos to be well under the one gigabyte size. Uh, my video is freaking 20 seconds 20 megabyte. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter what size I use it will still look like shit. I've also tried to post help requests on two different reddit YouTube forums. No one answered, so I contacted one of the mods, which per him is a Google employee and working for YouTube. But he has no idea how Google encoding works. He's making gaming videos, but he has no idea how pixels manifest in these videos. I'm calling BS. Then he sends me to a Twitter account called Team YouTube, which as I suspected probably never read my tweet, because you can't PM them, so they probably get tons of tweets and they never see you. With no one to go for help. I decided to go back to the only solution that many other new YouTubers figured for this. And that is upscaling for a VP9 codec. Not an AVC one, but a VP9. Upscaling means making your video resolution bigger, like turning 720p to a 1080p or a 1080p to a 4K. It's basically taking your video image and stretching it bigger, which always results in blurring the picture the higher you go. So it felt like I only have two choices, stay with the shitty dog piss codec or go for upscaling for a VP9 codec, a codec that has a bigger bitrate budget and will remove the pixels, but in cost, the upscale will make your video look like 320p. <sighs> but then it hit me, what will happen if I sharpen the video before I upscale it, will it fix the blurry image? It did. When I had the sharpening option suggested to me before, I didn't consider it, because I tried to look for it before and couldn't find a way to do it in my softwares. I didn't want to export the video from one software to another software, as every extra export damages your video more. Finally, I found it, after weeks. The first direction to get out of this nightmare. And so before we begin my 4 quick steps, take a note, this guide isn't for fixing your video, it's for improving it enough to look ok. Heads up, currently I'm using the PS4 capture card, which already captures the video originally as a compressed 720 version, instead of the 1080p resolution I'm playing on. So you don't need to compare your source video to mine. For now I will stick with my current setup and depending on how well this channel goes, I will consider a better setup. Step 1. The source video. The first and most important tool for making your video look the best as it can is the video you capture originally before you start rendering it on different softwares. Never expect your YouTube video to look the same as the video sitting on your computer. It will never happen. But by capturing the video at the best resolution fitting to the game playable resolution, you will guarantee yourself the best starting point with the best looking image. Step 2. Sharpening. Before upscaling your video, it will be necessary to sharpen your video so once the upscale will blur it, the sharpening will balance that. Warning though, too much sharpening will cause the arrows in your original video to be more noticeable and also make your video look more brighter. Adjusting the brightness and contrast is one of the things you can play with and something that I will probably keep experimenting on going forward. I went through a lot of tests before I decided how much sharpness I should use for my PS4 compressed 720p videos and it drove me nuts. Keep in note that every viewer has a different monitor settings and will see your video differently. Before I decided my final settings, I viewed my experiments on my old PC monitor, my 4K Smart LG TV screen, and my iPhone to get different looks. Also, if this is driving you nuts, and it probably will, remember to send the YouTube video links to your friends to get feedback. They could tell you that what you consider as perfect is actually too much sharp for them. Also keep in mind to check the 1080p version of your upscale videos, because what you want to do is make your 1080p video look the best. Because guess what, the VP9 versions of the 1080p and 720p would be looking way better with the sharpening and you need to remember. Console viewers or other mobile viewers might not even have the access to your 4K or 1440p videos. So while you're testing how much sharpness you want to actually use on your video before upscaling, you want to think about the viewers who can watch your best version but simply don't have the best internet download speed to watch those high quality streams. Therefore, the 1080p streams of your upscaled 1440p videos on YouTube should be your main focus. Step 3. Upscaling for a VP9 codec. 
This is the only option I thought. If you want to remove those pixel artifacts from showing up in every movement in your video, I've seen some AVC1 videos that look good in YouTube, but I have no idea how it looks like that. I'm on my own and this is the best solution I found. I don't believe in the bitrate budget shown in those YouTube requirements list because it always become less than 500 kbps or around the 1000 kbps once I upload it. But I did learn one thing. If you want a bigger bitrate budget, a VP9 codec is required. And in order for your video to get this codec, it will either happen if your videos have lots of views and then YouTube will decide, hey, this is a nice video, let's make it look better. Which is the type of logic I hate because many people will need to see it as a shit video first until it becomes a VP9 codec. And that is just a viewer's abuse. Or two, uploading the videos in 1440p or 4K will automatically turn your encoding to a VP9 codec. A quick tip, 1440p is enough, 4K will obviously have the bigger budget but I think the 1440p bitrate budget is giving you more than enough for your gaming videos. But for going on 4K will make it even more blurry depending on your starting resolution. It's up to you which one to use, but I won't be using that. Now for the upscaling, you can do it in three ways. Either do it with your rendering software, which I don't recommend because for some reason the video didn't look good with the sharpening, or even saw some people who are capturing the game footage on the PC with upscaling it from the beginning by capturing it in a higher resolution. Or go with Mitros, and I really recommend that. First, I render my videos and export them on 720p as their original resolution. You can do it for free with Lightworks software, which I use. It allows its user to export in 720p for free, of course, 1080p or higher exports cost money. Next, I take my 720p exported video and export it again with, with FFMPEG, which is the best tool for video converting for free. If you don't know how to use FFMPEG, there's a link in the description below how to download it and install it. And then also in the description below, use the following command to upscale the video and adjust the bitrate as you require. For last step 4, bitrate. When adjusting your bitrate, always go with the original source video bitrate. You can add more around 1000 kbps depending on the additions you made in your rendering, including the sharpening. There's no point making your 6 mbps video into a 10 mbps, it would only make it bigger and will take longer to upload. Completely have zero difference except the size of the file. That's it, I'm sorry if the video had too much information, but it was important to me to explain the story behind this for knowledge. Without further ado, if this did help you, I'm glad I saved someone else misery and please share it with others who are in need of it. If it didn't, I'm sorry, but I don't know any other solution as of now. Or if you simply want to complain or comment about how much complaining bitch I am, go ahead but don't give a fuck. Bye bye!